Cheers! Mail time, mail time, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This is a tower of goodness. Oh it's like gosh. a Jenga. Guys, we're getting through, there's a lot of mail. We love it and we're excited to open yes. up this mail. Yes. And we're sorry it's taking so long. Absolutely. Hopefully none of these are from Christmas. Perishable. Oh. <laughs> oh, that too. Yeah. So this is from Jeff the God of Biscuits. Oh my god. Which is an Eddie Izzard thing. And also he comments a lot. Yeah. But that's an Eddie Izzard reference. Love it. Hey Cubs! Yes! It's in rainbow as well. Just wanted to start off by saying how amazing I think you two are. I discovered you last year through Reddit. Oh, I tend to stay off Reddit because it seems mean. But <laughs> yay for people discovering us on Reddit. Yeah. Um, when you were doing season nine reviews and I've been hooked ever since. I go through clinical depression and one thing I do to feel better is watch YouTube videos. You're always toward the top of the list of channels. I watch them when I'm feeling down. So keep being your sassy, fabulous, bitchy selves. Oh, thanks. Yay. I finally got around to finding the videos I wanted to send you. I play trivia a lot, so I decided to make it into a little game. Uh oh. Oh boy. Each video has three hints to help you guess what's inside. If you think you know, say so, but maybe wait till the end to make your guesses out loud. That way anyone else watching can play along. Oh, that's so, that's so thoughtful. Consider it. The first one is a movie that's definitely in my top 10 if I had to make a list. It's the box that has the camera and clapboard on the front. Do this one first. Okay. I'm gonna come back to this video, to this letter. Okay. Ooh, this is like a little treasure hunt. I know, it's fun. Okay, so this has, oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> Hit number one. A hotel in England, 1990. Hit number two. A convention of Sasha Velour impersonators. In a German accent, you may now remove your shoes. You may now remove your wigs. I, that turned into something else, not German. I'm it sorry. Was, it was decent. I have no idea. Oh my god, of course. Oh my god, of course. <laughs> it's the witches. Oh. Oh, have you not seen it? Oh, okay, yeah. That, now that, yes. That makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> Ooh, it's brand new. I know, it's brand new. Oh, that's right, because they all take... Okay, it's all coming together. The hints were very good, but I just was not hearing them. Sure. Um, oh, yeah, you wouldn't have liked The Witches of oh, a okay. Child. Oh, okay, good. You might not like it now. I don't know. It's kind of labyrinthy okay. in its tone, Sure. I would say, but it's great. Oh, my God, an Angelic Houston. Love it. For the second video, I was thinking, an island full of fabulous cunts <laughs> needs a fabulous band to keep them entertained. The Bayside Bitches. As my first nominee for the band, I've sent a live concert VHS that I watched over and over again as a kid, and she's my favorite musician ever. I hope you enjoy this. Good luck, and don't fuck it up. Hit number one. She is most definitely not a gay icon. Okay, so it's it's not Cher or Judy Celine Garland, or Liza. Barbara Streisand. Or is this an opinion that they're not a gay icon? Anytime you're craving a little of her music or a vegetable bur burrito, head down to the restaurant Burrito special, $2.99. Oh, I feel like your hints are too good for us. Hit number three. She would make a good fit in the movie I sent you. A witch Angelica. who's not oh. a gay icon. Uh, These are, I, I feel bad. I do too. Maybe other people are getting them. I feel, maybe we're in a, a, a bad bad place. I mean, I'm bad because I don't know half the shit anymore. Oh, oh Stevie Nicks! Of course! She would make a, she's yes. a witch. Oh, man. Okay, the hint are too good. They make sense after I know what it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at this hair. Ooh, live at the Red Rocks. Yes. Look at that hair. Thank you, Thank Jeff. You. Yes. If that is in fact your real name. Right. I hope everyone did better trivia than we did. Oh yeah, did I wait long enough? Could you guess? <laughs> well, we didn't know what it was, so. That's true. That is true. We didn't guess it correctly, so there's, there's that. Yeah. Loving the trivia, even though I failed horribly. <laughs> This is from Amazon, so hopefully they left a note. Oh yeah. This is why we always leave a note. Thanks, cunts, for making my world more fabulous and cunty. I love you more than my luggage. XOXO, authentic paint. Yes, oh. have you ever read this book? I'm always talking to you y'all about bisexuals, but not often about polyamory. This is one of my favorite books about it. It'll make you look at many movie plots differently. If they were poly, none of these issues would exist. <laughs> 
I love it. That's probably fair. The Ethical Slut. Love Ooh. that. Ooh. A Practical Guide to Polyamory, Open Relationships, and Other Adventures. And Cunt. <laughs> this is of going on at my coffee table. <laughs> A Declaration of Independence. I love it. Oh, that's fabulous. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love it. So, I, this is a little weird for our format. You just turn. Just a little. Alexis. Alexis. Um, but I was gifted a gift that I'm re-gifting to you. I love the whole story. Um, and <laughs> I, I don't want to tell you anything more. Oh, boy. I feel like I should be worried. I feel, I, I just want you to close your eyes in case it, it gets messed up. Okay. And... Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, this is fabulous. Now paint the other ah! way. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what is it? Oh my god, I want to try and guess. Oh no, I don't want to spoil it. Okay, let's get to the hair. I mean, it's a part... Is it this fucking Nicholas Cage? <laughs> Oh, this is a terrifying surprise. Is, isn't that? Oh. oh my gosh. And he's got such a dur face. Yeah. <laughs> but how fat. I love these um, silly. Oh so my it's God. just a gold pillow or it's Nicolas Cage. Or is it? Or is it Nicolas Cage? This is hilarious. <laughs> silly. Oh, it's fun to play with. I know. It's like one of those, you know, stick your hand in, yeah, the, in the pins. In the pins, yeah. And then you can, you know, mess with him. <laughs> not the bees. <laughs> yeah, it should be his bees face. <laughs> not this, you know. Hi, what's up? Hey, it's me, Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> you could um, give him a little a moustache. Oh, a little moustache. Yeah. Oh, it's harder to do. You gotta just face. go up. You have to only go up. Yeah. <laughs> give him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I like it. Maybe, yep. Okay, hold on. Ooh, a little unibrow. A little Frida call action. <laughs> Actual. <laughs> He's a whole new man. <laughs> That's the silliest thing I've seen all year. Good. <laughs> this is from Long Beach, California. Oh. Movie bitches! Thanks for the hilarity with love from Susan and Julie Newmar. <gasps> I mean, is that for real? <laughs> I doubt it, but... I love it. Oh, it's Julie Newmar! I love it! <laughs> Oh, and two movie tickets. Next one's on me. Oh, how cool. How fabulous. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Susan. Um, this is fabulous. Yes. I'm very excited. Does it, what does it say? Does it say two? It says two Wong Fu. Thanks for doing Julie Newmark. Oh, my God, I love it. God, I gotta get a frame for that. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> no one's saying anything. I'm having a moment. Hey, bitches. I hope you like these movies as much as I do. Scream 3 is trash, but so fun. <laughs> It Thanks is. to you, The Shallows is up there with Deep Blue Sea is one of my favorite shitty shark movies. Oh my gosh. Much love, Ariane. And it's a scream, <laughs> scream, scream two and scream three. The triple feature 30s set. I love it. What about the fourth one? Nobody likes the fourth one. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Ariane. Ariane? Ariane. Ariane. I think Ariana. I said it like Tim Gunn would say it. Thanks, Thanks. Ariane. Oh, much love, Ariane. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. Just rewatch season two of Project Runway because, you know, why not? Yeah. Santino's a fucking dick. Yeah, he is. But he's so funny. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. So it's tough. It's tough. Andre? Where's Andre? <laughs> you can't keep having these fits at Red Lobster sure. in front of my family. Oh, my God. This one is from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Oh. Oh, no. That's... Wait. Oh, yes. Oh. It looked like there was a treasure map, yeah. and then it looked like it was part of the packaging, and then no, there was a treasure map. Oh, cool. It's, it's very exciting. Fabulous Cunt Island, a map! Oh my god, I love um, it. I'm, oh my god, I'm obsessed with you already. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to find out who this is, because they seem fabulous. Hey, April and Andrew. First things first, shout out to your wine sponsor, Wink. Try Wink.com slash movie bitches. You'll get $22 off your first month of wine. I love that drink. <laughs> Secondly, I think you're both absolutely fabulous, and I recently became a Patreon supporter oh. because I love everything you do. So, in Tatiana's voice, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm writing from not-so-sunny Cambridge, Massachusetts, about to enter my second year of graduate school. I discovered you guys some years ago with your Drag Race reviews, and though I never really considered myself a movie buff, thanks to you guys, I have now a wide repertoire of obscure movie references for movies I flat-out have never actually seen before. <laughs> Thank you, Avril. You're welcome. 
Um, over the last year, you have provided countless hours of entertainment and a great distraction from what are fairly frequent moments of doubt and disappointment that are inevitable with grad school. That's true. Yeah. On some of my most difficult days, I would head to YouTube to watch one of your episodes, which at this point I've likely watched like three other times already. <laughs> And I felt like I was always just gabbing with two friends I've known for a long time, which was always a welcome comfort. As a grad student, I'm neither at home for long enough to actually get some of my family's old VHS tapes to send you guys, nor am I wealthy enough, help me, I'm poor, to purchase a bunch of stuff for you. So I'm only sending along a couple of things I hope you might like. I mean, I'm already really excited that you guys are here to talk about Diabolique. Okay. Diabolique. Diabolique. First of all, I'm sending you a cutout of Michael Fassbender. I can only dream to see it in the background of your next review. Starring our favorite lighthouse keeper and oh polisher. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely going up whenever we review a Michael Fassbender movie. Secondly, I'm sending you... Oh no, there was also a life-size version on Amazon, but I figured this was a good starter. Secondly, I'm sending you along a DVD of Diabolique, the original French version, not the horrible 1996 one with Sharon Stone, thank you, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure April mentioned to Andrew at some point is a great movie and I can confirm is fantastic. It is. Thanks for all your great content, for informing some of the uneducated masses about the wonders of film and TV and drag, and for welcoming us all into what seems like a great friendship you two have that I may or may not be super jealous of. <laughs> Cheers, and I believe in you, Ricardo! <laughs> Thanks, Ricardo. Um, P.S. How about those dolphins? Oh my God. How about those dolphins? Thank you, Ricardo. Thanks, Ricardo. Um, Diabolic is fucking great. I will watch it. And um, I'm excited, and I don't have the CBD, and I'm excited. So then this says, oh, oh, Ricardo, you're a delight. So this says, Fabulous Cunt Island, a map. Ooh. Dolphins. Dolphins. Charlize's place. Cock Cove, Fassbender's Lighthouse, duh. Um, movie Bitches, Entry Point, and Doc, Priscilla Bus Stop, to Rest of Island. Good. This is fabulous. Inside this fabulous Cunt Island map... <laughs> is a treasure trail of Michael Fassbender? A, a, a treasure what now? A treasure trail. A treasure trail? Got it. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> oh my god, I love it! It's so silly! This is just the best. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, this is so silly and I love it. Um, I cannot wait for this to grace every future Michael Fassbender review. I can't wait for Michael Fassbender to make another movie. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it won't be garbage. Or it'll be super or garbage. hopefully it'll be garbage. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it back up at the end. Yes. So this is from Michael from Minneapolis. Dear movie bitches, first of all, thank you for making me laugh. No matter what the day throws at me, I can always turn you guys on and smile. Oh. I hope you like the book. It's one of my favorites. The author has a YouTube channel too with more recipes. Ooh, fun. Ooh. So it's gotten to the point where I'm basically looking forward to your reviews more than most, if not all, the movies coming out these days, which leaves me time to get a true film education. I love Sleepaway Camp. Showgirls with commentary uh, yes. and Blade Runner. I love that you guys make bad movies great, unknown movies fascinating, and everything gayer and funnier than it already is. Nominations: Okay, Judy okay. Greer, Fabulous yeah. Island. Yes. Yeah. Twenty Eight Days for a Retro Movie Review. Oh my God! Remember Twenty Eight Days? That was the zombie movie, right? No, that's Twenty Eight Days Later. Oh. Twenty Eight Days is the like weird rehab dramedy with Sandra Bullock. Oh. Remember I that? don't think I've seen it. She like drives the limo into her sister's what or falls into the cake. She's a mess. No. She goes to rehab. They show the trailer like a million. I don't know about five million times. I always loved like that one because the trailers couldn't change. So it was like, oh, yeah. these are the trailers before the movie that I watched all the time. Oh no, not even the VHS tape. It was just one of those movies that they were like, this is gonna tank. We need to show the trailer as much as we possibly <laughs> can. A smiling fan, Michael. Ooh, Eat What You Watch, a cookbook for movie lovers from Andrew Ray. Yes. This is fun because this is kind of like what I do for my Oscars party. That's true. It'll give you some ideas. Stand By Me is Blueberry Pie. Makes sense. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, this is super fun. I love it. I should start doing this myself. Yeah, just because. Um, butter Poached Lobster with Lemon Butter Sauce for Annie Hall. Yeah. Awesome. That's so Thank cute. You, Thank Michael. you, Michael. Oh, look. It's like pizza, but it's a film room. This is from Amazon. <gasps> Drop Dead Gorgeous! Yes! From Ariane. Oh, thanks Ariane, more. 
Are you the same, Ariane? If so, you seem fabulous. Thank you for sending us so much stuff. Yeah. Hi, April Andrew. This is your companion package. Oh. Look out for the purple main one featuring gods of Egypt and Kate Winslet. Love, Geraldine from Berlin. <gasps> Two. Oh, I don't know what this is. Look at the past. Change the future. Oh boy. Yeah. This looks bad. Is it bad? Or is it good? New York City air traffic controller Dylan Branson is a guy at the top of his game of air traffic controller? Until one day at 2.22 p.m. This is bad. This must be bad. A blinding flash of light paralyzes him for a few crucial seconds. Suspended from his job, Dylan begins to notice the increasingly ominous repetition of sounds and events in his life that happen at exactly the same time every day. As he's drawn into a complex relationship with Sarah, Teresa Palmer, Dylan must break the power of the past and take control of time itself. Oh, this seems bad. Yeah. This looks bad. I'm excited about it. It seems like, you know, Nick a time or something or oh mm. it's a movie it's not a show it's a movie it's rated pg-13 okay cool um this looks silly and bad i'm excited geraldine danka danka yeah nailed it yeah this too it's from amazon because you like homeward bound you need to see the original film please watch it and let me know how much you loved it i think you will especially because y'all love old films I think this must be from Authentic Pain. I would assume so. Yeah. No, I have seen this and it's a delight. I don't know if I have. It's good. It's great. Okay, I'll watch it. I mean, you know, it's like dogs and cats living together. Sounds like a lovely time. Just, you know, making their way. The next time that I have a cold and I'm like in bed and yeah. just want something yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. This is from David from Great Britain. Ooh! Yeah. Ooh, gold. <laughs> the nominees are. The winner is. And the winner is. She was a bit ashamed of her recycling bin. One of the bottles still had some in it. <laughs> That's really silly. Uh, hey, cunts, please keep doing what you do best. It never fails to put a smile on my face. As a thank you, here's a box of goodies. Some darker and some fruitier. <laughs> Loads of love from long, jolly old England. David. You gotta say it like Dick Van Dyke. Loads of love from jolly old England. <laughs> David he is. He is, he is. I know that shit a witch for anywhere. That's where we went anywhere. Avril, please open carefully. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's for Jennifer from Rita Moreno. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a lucky girl you are, Jennifer. <laughs> well, then this is to me, but for the purpose of this gift, I am now known as Ray. Okay. Oh, is it to Ray? Yes, from Debbie Reynolds. Oh. To Ray, happiness, Debbie Reynolds. Happiness. Oh, that's delightful. Yeah. Early modern Millie. Yeah. yeah. That's a fun one. Raspberry! Raspberries! Ooh, walk on the wild side. Ooh! Is that Jane Fonda? Yeah. Oh, I see a Disney sticker. Ooh. Oh, but it does not seem to. It's, um, something, something wicked this way comes. It's not, I mean, maybe that's Disney, but. It does say Walt Disney on the right? top. Right? How interesting. It's Jason Robards. I have not seen this. No. Pam Greer, Diane Ladd, Jason Robards, Jonathan Price. Yeah. Excited. The Mob, A Bathhouse. Rita Moreno is the worst cabaret act ever. What's not to like? The Ritz. Ooh. Look at how big this tape is. It's like a thing beta. Is. Yeah. Oh. A hideout for hilarity. I haven't seen this either. Crazy. Enjoy me with a good, bad movie. Ooh, I think it's chocolate. Mmm. Bee pollen and mango chocolate. Oh, that sounds delicious. This is such cute packaging. Yeah, it really is. Island sea salt chocolate. Okay, now that yes. sounds more up my alley. <laughs> I mean, I want all of it. Ooh, coffee bean. Ooh, yes. Mmm. Ooh, I'm excited. These are fabulous. Yes, thank you. Yes! Drop Dead Fred! Yeah! Strangely obsessed with this movie as a child. Yeah, you you were. Yeah, it's weird. With nail and oh, I. With nail and I. Yeah. Oh, so good. Fucking love this movie. I've never seen that name before. 
With Nail? Yeah. I, I, I've only seen it in this context. Oh, cool. Yeah. Great. I discovered this movie because of my obsession with Richard E. Grant. Oh! So I was read at everything he was in. Love it. He's been in some weird movies. But this one's great. <laughs> Muriel's Wedding! Yes! That's a classic. Yes! Thought these might be more of an Andrew thing. Oh, all three of them. You go for it. I though. guess. I don't know. Maybe they're calendars. Maybe. Sexy men. Okay. Nope. Oh. It's a Julie Andrews record. <gasps> Yeah. Sound of music. Just a pooping Christopher Plummer. Yeah, we're no singing in this house. Rex Harrison and Julie Andrews, <gasps> my fair lady. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Mary Poppins, she is. Mary Poppins. Oh my God, I love it. So fabulous. Yes. Ooh, look at these old classic. Mm. Thank you, David. Thanks, David. Oh, David. This is from Florida, St. Augustine, Florida. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Coconuts. I'm sensing a Halloween theme, and I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, look at this scroll. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I'm like back in elementary school. Yes. <laughs> Yes, bitches! Hi, April and Andrew. Congratulations on your Movie Bitches 200th episode. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I discovered you two about three years ago when I first started watching RuPaul's Drag Race and found your reviews along with movie reviews by accident. Always managed to put a smile on my face. You two make any movie enjoyable and entertaining, no matter if I do not like the movie or have no interest in it at all. That's fabulous. Yeah. I do recommend Madeline Kahn and Elvira for Fabulous Cunt Island if they have not already been included. They, yeah. They were there from the inception, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, I would definitely highly consider the all-time great Carol Burnett. She's no. also on there as well, uh, but I have shameful thoughts associating her on any level with the word cunt. Oh. No, she would love it. Yeah. She's a real cunt. <laughs> Just too much love and admiration on my part. So therefore, it's your choice. No, she's been there for a very long time. Very long. I learned to appreciate the black and white movies by watching her movie parodies. As a young kid, I would also, I would see the parody and the next day I would go rent the movie and thought, wow, these are great films. That is a fun way to watch yeah. it. Please call me by my drag name since I'm now a fan of RuPaul's Drag Race Movie Bitches and Untucked. My drag name is... True horror honor. This name chosen comes from a place of affection of family and movies. When we four siblings were young and doing designated chores assigned by our mom, she would lay on the couch drinking a Pepsi Cola and reading her favorite three magazines. The magazines named were Secrets, True Confessions, and True Detective. Okay. We young kids referred to those magazines as True Whore magazines. I love it. And giggle, hence True Horror. Oh good, I'm glad I said it right. Her last name, Honor, comes from the James Bond movie Goldfinger. The female member uh, name was Pussy Glore, but the actress who played Pussy Glore was Honor Blackman. Uh, hence, Honor. True whore Honor. <laughs> Seriously, keep sharing the enjoyable quality of entertainment to us at home, close by, or far away. Much appreciated. True whore Honor. Oh. From Florida. Thank you Thank so much. You, true whore. True whore. Oh! Oh, little kisses! Ooh, dark one. Ooh, yes! Ooh, more of them! Yes! yes. Oh my god, yes! Oh, those are the best! You put these things in the freezer and that shit is like crack. <laughs> so good. You put them in the freezer, right? I don't know if I ever have. I just always remember getting them at hotels and being like, so happy. Being like, Andy's! <gasps> Love Actually! You know what? I I don't think we have that. Shockingly. Not on VHS. Shockingly. Yeah. That must be one of the last movies to be put on VHS. I mean, I would think so. To April, I'm enjoying this this little vampire. Mine had a little spider, so. I like it. Yeah, very timely. Maybe it's just Elvira fans, not necessarily. Sure. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Ah! It's holiday hard on VHS. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love that Sonique introduced us to this movie. I love it. Ooh. Elvira, Mistress of the, of the Dark. Dark. To April and Andrew, the great Madeline Kahn, first introduction to film. Her first introduction or your first introduction to her? Well, we'll find out soon. Right? What's her first 
film. I think it's What's Up Doc. Or Paper Moon. I think it's What's Up Doc. It's What's Up Doc! Yeah! Love it. Very excited. Floris Leachman and Madeline Kahn. High anxiety? You want to bring in that? High anxiety. Ah. Uh, love it! Since you appreciate Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte, oh, it's so hard to say, <laughs> you should like this Betty Davis movie. The Nanny? It's a good guess. Dead Ringer! Oh, I do like Dead Ringer. Dead Ringer is a good movie. Blazing Saddles! <gasps> Yay! It's a good one. Oh. These are a good collection. I can't believe you found Holiday Heart. I... And then we have a Love Actually now. I'm Amazing. Very, I'm very excited. Yeah. Okay, thank you, True Horror Honor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. This is from Mike from Canada. Oh. Hey. Haunted La Canada Hante. Oh. Dear movie bitches, since I figure this box won't be opened until October. Oh boy. I thought I'd send myself a theme. Oh <laughs> no. I'm so sorry. Mike, you're a gem. Category is Ooky spooky kooky. Hope all y'all enjoy. I mean, I'm excited. Mike. I like there's a little cheers. Booze. Booze. Here's a trick or treat for you. Oh, it's like a little lunch pail. A little smarties. Thank you. Thank you, smarties. <laughs> Thank you, Mike and Ike. Thank you, candy corn. Thank you. Thank you, smarties. Some of this is the shit that I want. Yeah, you're, oh, you're, yeah. A, you're a Tootsie Papa. I'm a Tootsie Pop enthusiast. How many licks does it take? How many licks does One. it take? One. You get to the center. Two. Two. Three. Fabulous. Ooh, we also have a, a cherry blossom. Oh. It looks like there's like a syrupy candy thing inside of a chocolate hazelnut thing. Ooh. Fudgy. Double stuffed double cream. They're like Oreos, but it's all chocolate and it's called something different. Oh, and then pirate. pirate oatmeal peanut butter cookies. Now Ooh, that, that sounds, sounds good. good. Yeah. This one you have to read. Going through puberty hard. How are you gonna win the big game when you're howling on limo roofs? I don't know. I, I was like, oh, it's League of Their Own, but then I was like, I don't oh, know, maybe no. it's Pretty Woman. Well, what puberty and? Oh, it's Teen Wolf. Of course, it's Teen Wolf. Oh, and Teen Wolf 2, Ooh. the much less well-received sequel. <laughs> they replaced Michael J. Fox with Jason Bateman. Double feature. Oh, yeah, it's so silly. Teen Wolf, Teen Wolf 2. Uh, uh. A fabulous cunt teaches her grandchildren to get what they want. Revenge stalks a family as a basic white boy doesn't know when to quit. Halloween Town and Halloween Town 2. <laughs> Calabar's <laughs> Revenge. That's yes, those are very accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Chains, clowns, 90s grim dark. It? Spawn? Oh. What'd you say? It. Oh no. Well. Oh, yeah. Spawn? Is it spawn? It's spawn! Yes. Spawn. Spawn. The special effects movie of the year. Oh. Oh, it's the director's cut. Oh my. Child goes to magic school. Oh, right, I forgot the theme was ooky spooky kooky. Oh, right. Harry Potter? Now it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. A child goes to magic school? Yeah, Harry Potter, that sounds good, right? But which one? Nope. Oh. The mini witch. What's that? I don't know. Um, what? There's so much hair. Who's it? Who's in it? Oh my god, there's a unicorn, and there's an owl, and there's a dragon, and this is clearly a Harry Potter ripoff. A young and mischievous witch named Fuchsia enrolls in witch school to learn magic. Who wrote this? Against her father's warning, Fuchsia befriends a human boy named Tommy and learns about his uncle's plans to destroy her school. It's up to Fuchsia and her new magical Fuchsia? powers. No! Oh. That's how you spell Fuchsia. I like Fuchsia better. It sounds witchier. <laughs> and her new magical powers to save her town! Um, what is this? I'm excited. Excited. I feel like I need more explanation. <laughs> I, you're not going to get it. You're just going to have to watch it. 
A family farm is haunted by spirits among the corn. Children of the corn? Field of dreams? <laughs> it's Field of Dreams! <laughs> That's silly and fun. Ooky spooky. There are ghost baseball players. School's in session as not racism threatens to destroy two small towns. It's not racism. Not raci racism. It's Halloween Town High. <laughs> yeah, I love that you got both the Halloween Town. I'm really excited about it. You get me. <laughs> but I'm glad that you specifically yep. opened them yep. as well. Yep. A pastiche of universal universal horror, a sequel that just ain't happening. Fabulous vampire bitches. We already did the covenant. Vamps. Vampire Academy? Oh, it's Van Helsing. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Jeffrey Lyons, I think you're gonna take back a nonstop action and breathtaking thrill ride. I'm putting you on blast. No. A young lion must learn what it takes to be king. I'm gonna guess a Lion King, but I feel I like. I hope it's a terrible sequel. Maybe. Remember they made those direct to Yeah. Yeah. Is it just the four hour can in front of Hamlet? That'd be fun. Noah's Ark? What? It's about is it a lion? It looks like Jungle Book. Doesn't it look like the Jungle Book characters like ripped off? Yeah. I'm um this is real weird. Oh, there seems to be a lady who's dressed up like an animal, like sneaking on. Oh. Wouldn't you say that's what that is? A little bit. Yeah, it does. Totally does. So then we have a uh, maple leaf shirt. Ooh! 1867. Is that when Canada was created? That seems late. You know, I really feel like uh, there's a lack of Canada knowledge. In America? It's taught in America. Yeah. Um, super cute. Yeah. And... Oh, oh Canada. Canada. True, True North. North. Just a little silly moose shirt. It was like a silly moose. How cute. Thank you. Oh, Montreal steak spice seasoning, potato chips. Oh, okay. And old fashioned kettle cooked potato chips. Ooh. Mm -hmm. From Canada. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, thanks, Mike. How fabulous. Oh, <laughs> I thought you said Mike Gay. No, Mike Gay. This is from Glenn from Berkshire, UK. Ooh. How fab. Hi, April and Andrew. I just thought I'd drop you a line to thank you. Every time I read Drop You a Line, I think of Goofy Movie. Dear Roxanne, couldn't sleep. So I thought I'd drop you a line. Oh, I don't remember that. He like writes a postcard and then he like tears it up because he's like, oh, I'm being a jerk. And then a part of it lands in a tree. I just thought I'd drop you a line to thank you both for the hard work on your highly enjoyable and very funny YouTube channel. I've included some films for you both, one of which is a bit odd, but hey, it's a musical. All the best for the future, Glenn. Oh, thank you, thank Glenn. You. Um, so first we have, this is such a nice little, um, right? Yeah. Local hero. Oh yeah. Okay. It's great. <gasps> The journey to Natty Gan, Gan, Natty Gan. Yeah, this is um like John Cusack's like first movie. Weird. Yeah, or one of them. Yes, awesome. Mulholland Drive. Ooh, fabulous. Yeah, a maniacal thrill. <gasps> Pride. Oh, I know. People keep telling us to review this, and yes. we just haven't had the time. But it looks really cute, and I'm excited to watch it. Yeah, I'm excited. Billy the Kid and the Green Bays. Vampire from the director of Scum and the Firm. What? What is Wait, this? Wait, Scum and the Firm? Like the Firm? Like, like the Firm? Alan Clark. Um, what? What is this? This must be the odd one. If you was an Undertaker, people stop dying. There's like a lot of weird accent work in, oh, okay. in the phrasing turns one of his most avant-garde films weaving a hybrid tale of gangsters and snooker players constructed as a high-adrenaline modern musical scripted by Trevor Preston 
Billy the Kid and the Green Blaze Vampire showcases a musical score by the BAFTA winning Oscar nominated George Fenton. Billy Kid is a 17 year old boy who loves to play snooker. That's pool, right? I think that's pool. He could be the best in the world, but the seven times world champion Max Randall disagrees. Both characters are a tad eccentric. Billy lives in a cowboy fantasy and Maxwell sleeps in a coffin. And a showdown is staged between the young cowboy and the old vampire, in which the loser will never play professional snooker again. Huh. Fascinated. My beautiful laundrette! Oh, yes. Blythe Spirit. <gasps> Love it. There's something else in here. Oh my gosh, is this a big old Journey to Natty Gan poster? <laughs> it is! Oh my god, it's huge! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, this is huge! <laughs> With innocence behind her and danger ahead, only courage and love were on her side. It's like a really cute movie. Oh my goodness. Thank, Thank you, you, Glenn. Thank you, everyone. Thank this you, Glenn. This is amazing. Well, I mean, obviously. Oh god. I mean. Obviously, we need to be reintroduced to this. I mean, I just realized that he, he looks like um, Robin or something. You know? Yeah. That's funny. It's really silly. I just feel like, yeah, it's like Ooh. a lot of time could be spent, you know, really... Just getting really high and petting yeah. the pillow? Well, oh, yeah, now he's going to be a pirate. <laughs> Arg. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Thanks, guys! <laughs>